All right, you guys, we're going to do something a little bit different tonight. Although, as I say that, I think I probably say that every week. <laughs> I apologize if that is the case. So uh, I've got my uh, my little uh, paper, digital paper, I should say, and I've just got it set to white for now. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to take a, uh, a grayish color, and I'm going to start out with three three little dot ovals. This actually reminds me of a scan, Scantron test in school. Oh, no. We'll be talking about school a little bit later nightmare. on. Nightmare. Talk about holy nightmare. Holy nightmare. <laughs> and I'm going to draw three little lines like that. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to draw a line like that. And then I'm going to draw another line. It's a curvy line out like this. Another one, sort of symmetrical, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do another one up here, similar shape. And another one there. All right, and then at the very, at the top, I'm going to do kind of a curvy shape like that. Hmm. All right. Looks like a fountain. A little bit, yeah, or like a fireworks display, something like that. Okay, so then I'm going to draw two lines down like that. And I'm going to round it off at the bottom, just like that. Mm -hmm. All right, now this is probably the most complicated uh, shape I'm going to draw, but it's basically just kind of like a reverse S. So if you watch this, I'm going to draw it like, basically do that. Whoa. Okay, just a little curve. It's good this is our 19th S. show. The pe intimidate people? Yeah, that's... No, no, no. You, are, you're started. drawing along. You're drawing along. Just... Keep, keep it. Now this is an actual S, just like that. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do the same thing up here, but this part of the S is gonna get cut off, and this part's gonna get cut off there. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to shift the drawing. Um, I'm just gonna do this with my fingers. Obviously, if you have a piece of paper, just turn it to the side. Yeah, I was like, how are they gonna do? <laughs> Oh my gosh, they don't, it's impossible. Yeah, just move it. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm going to draw the little uh, trumpety part. Oh, like that. Interesting. And then there's a, a little thinner part. Barb says, we can base. draw curvy lines. She's, yeah, she's, she's yeah. you guys are pros. I'm not, I wasn't right? necessarily saying you guys couldn't. I'm just, from my perspective, it looked a little intimidating. So, yeah. Uh, you know, you just Notice don't, how I don't you, do you any of the drawing. Yeah, you just say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, now we're going to add some color in here. That's cool. And uh, I thought, I, I really like that uh, rainbow joyfulness. So we're going to we're gonna go rainbow. I, I was doing some practice runs earlier, and I realized just how much I love drawing rainbows. So basically, I'm just going to, oh, you know, yeah. get in some color here. And uh, you can kind of blend it together. Obviously, whatever media that you are That's using, cool. will you'll be able to play with mm -hmm. however you like. And these are always available for replay. We actually um, have the segments, you know, kind of broken out of the show even. So in our YouTube channel, you can go to the playlist that's called Let's Draw and watch uh -huh. them all. So if you want to come back to this one with markers or watercolors or whatever if you're not fully equipped at this moment yes i i uh you know this is definitely... not going to be probably as good with the rainbow if you just have a ballpoint pen right but that's what at the moment i was that's, having I'm yeah. Like, yeah yeah that's understandable be... but this is a chance to really uh you know once you get the the part down with the uh the lily which <laughs> hopefully i broke it down in a way that um, people can have fun with and is not too intimidating yeah, you got this mysterious indigo color. That people mm -hmm. are always like, what? Like you only hear about indigo in, in like rainbows, right? Right, or the band, Indigo Girls. Yeah. All right, so there yeah, you go. that's cool. I and like then, that. And uh, then I might go back in here with um, kind of a darker green and color up some of this stuff again. Mm. All right, so there you go. Now, uh, oh. you could add in a few little details here if you want. Um, I always like how people add a little, uh, little variety, but you might put a little, little line in between the, uh, the leaves. There's, there's a kind of like, cool. mm -hmm. yeah, there's that kind of little, uh, 
I don't know what you call it, indentation. Mm -hmm. Makes it a little bit more realistic. Now, the other thing is uh, that's in this painting, which you might not be able to see as well on screen as I have, uh, you know, it's the joyful noise. So I have mm -hmm. oh, different notes. musical yeah. notes in here that you can add to it. I have absolutely no idea what these musical notes are called. <laughs> The kiddos would. Yeah, they the just started piano know. back up on Tuesday, so that's... Um, they would know. So, yeah, you just add... Kelsey Schneider says, I might not be drawing right now, but I am eating rainbow sprinkles. Well, so that's, that's... solidarity. That's, yeah, we're unified. <laughs> that's unity. We're unity, yeah. yes. <laughs> I love that unity play there. All right, so there we go. Uh, again, have some fun with it. Um, bring out it gives you a good reason to bring out all these wonderful colors that we talked about. Yeah, and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed drawing a jubilant, joyful Easter lily. Very cool.